Hello, Adam Houston here for Market Club with your 1 p.m. market update for Tuesday, the 19th of April. Here's the news. Gold and silver moved to new highs, plus 100. Very strong trends. We've been talking about that for the last several weeks. Still very strong. Crude oil bounces from major support. That's up 65. And the dollar index slips back from yesterday's strong upward move. We're back down to a minus 55 trading range. The CRB index is back to 85, indicating that inflation is still very much in the forefront of everyone's minds, and the S&P is barely hanging in there. So let's take a look at the markets with our trade triangle technology. We'll start with the metals first, because they're the most productive. We're currently trading at gold at $1,496.50. The high is within 53 cents of our $1,500 target zone. I would suggest if you're in this market, Maybe if you have some nice profits, depending on how strong you want to be, is maybe take some of it off the table, but not all of it. We are still very bullish on this market. Silver is also very strong. Uh, 4276, we're 4260, we're plus 100. All the metals are in the plus 100 column, whether it's an ETF like the Spider GLD or the SLV for silver. They're very, very strong. So let's just take a look at uh, silver, which has really been the leader of the metals and we'll take a look at the spot silver which is easy to do just click here and you see a chart coming up and you can see look at how this market's acting really really well and trend continues upward and we're looking for this market as we've said continually to be moving to fifty dollars an ounce that's our target zone for silver and it's really acted extraordinarily well, far surpassing the performance in gold. So again, if you want to put tight stops on this, you can. But again, I would recommend using probably our, let me clear everything off the screen, probably using our parabolic studies, which you can easily put on the chart, boom. And you can manipulate them so they get to where you want them to be. And uh, right here, so this could be a, area that you could use here at approximately I think it's around 4186 you see the parabolic is right here as you move your cursor you can see how it moves and shows you where the stops are that could be a very good stop out area for you but the trend is clearly up in silver and that's the way it should be traded right now so let's go back to our charts and our portfolio manager rather and let's look at our next market, which is energy. Now, this is a really interesting market today for many different aspects. But if we go to our energy, the crude oil, it's plus 65. We're up 72, up 0.67%. But look at the chart here. This is a really interesting level. And I'm going to take this these off for the moment because they're confusing uh, because we're talking about something else. All the other. It's easy to do with Market Club in the portfolio manager. Just click here. And bingo, it's gone. To give you a clearer picture of this trend, I want to. This is what I want to illustrate in today's update. Look at this area right here. I think that's going to hold. And the big area, as you can see, we've got our daily triangle that came in at 109.55. Now tomorrow, or tomorrow, if we go over 109.55, or certainly this area right here, 110 it's off to the races. We're going to go to our next target zone, which is $120 a barrel for crude oil. And it's may, it may be something that sparks the Middle East. It may be something else. But watch tomorrow very carefully, because that's going to be a key, key level to look at. I'm going to be traveling tomorrow, so there will be no update tomorrow. So that's the area which I recommend you look at, the 109.55 level as that will get our daily trade triangle positive again. That will mean all these tra triangles are positive. But certainly the 110 level, which is a major psychological barrier, is a key level to look at. If we go over that level, we'll be chasing this market on the upside. So let's go to our next market. Let's clear the screen again. And let's go to our next market, which is going to be the dollar. Now, we talked about the dollar. The dollar had a very strong day yesterday for some reason not known to anybody um, and let's the US dollar index which is right here and it's minus 85 uh, it's down today it was actually up yesterday quite strongly as you can see from the chart below we had a, a very strong update which is illustrated right here this big blue bar and then today there's absolutely zero follow-through so I think this market may do what it 
it's done here is sort of have a big update, go sideways, and then resume its downward trend. And I would not think that would be a pattern. We will not, it's not going to change anytime soon. You can see the pattern is pretty big update, no follow through, boom, down. So I think that pattern is going to continue, and we're going to roll over, and the dollar index is going to back down to our target zone, which is 74 on the downside, which doesn't augur very well for the U.S. dollar. And I think that's one of the concerns we have is the huge debt that we're carrying right here in the U.S. is going to continue to weigh on this market. Unless we get something in place, it's going to be a very negative for the currency, which in fact is an indirect tax on every U.S. citizen here in the United States. So let me just take this off the screen, clear the chart, and let's go back to our next market. And that's going to be the inflation index that we track. That's the CRB. I should give it the correct name. That is the, hmm, I thought I had it here. I don't see it. We, we'll have to get it next time. But basically, the CRB index is really looking somewhat negative, And I think that's going to continue, excuse me, the CRB index is looking positive. It's a plus 85. I just looked at this market just a little while ago. And let me see if I can pull this up because it'll be worthwhile looking at. Um, let me go to this one. And let me look at this one. Okay, well we'll have to we'll have to come back to that on Thursday. But generally speaking, this market is still in an upward trend, and we see this. Oh, let me just sort this out. Oh, there it is. I beg your pardon. So here it is. We can look at 85. And the chart's coming up, and we're going to look at this market uh, pretty simply with what the trend is. And as you can see today, this is a very important day. You've got this engulfing line here. You've sort of come back down to support, uh, which is really uh, very telling right here, kind of like a, the line in the sand, so to speak. If we see this market now take out uh, tomorrow, or even on Thursday, this level right here with a high of 63.47, that's 363.47, then I think we're off to the races again. So I think this is a pause that refreshes, much like this was. I think this is going to be a bigger pause in here. I think we're going to see this market moving up, moving up, and moving up again. So we have a target zone of 300, whoop, 395 to 400 for the CRB, this is the full title, the Reuters Jeffries CRB Index. I always call it CRB Index because I've been using it for so many years and since they changed the name, it's a little, uh, it takes a little getting used to, let me put it that way. So let's take a look at our last market and clear everything off the screen. And that's going to be the equity markets and in particular we're going to be looking at the S&P 500 which is right here showing a minus 60 and we click here. And you can see that this is not a particularly exciting performance in this market. We had a big down day yesterday with the possible downgrade in U.S. debt. Uh, it was just, it was mentioned that it could potentially happen in two or three years. But the market is just acting somewhat. We've been talking about this for actually some time now since we got up to these levels we looked at before, which is right here. And this is a rolling over and just as we would rolled over here. So we've got this double top, certainly big resistance at these levels. This is definitely a, a problem for the market. The potential for this market to step back even further is there, and I think you should be on the defensive in equities right now. I think this is not a good time to be in equities. We are still not in an oversold condition. I think we can give this market some more time, but certainly it's on the defensive, and we just need some one other shoe to fall, and this could be under a lot of pressure. And this is the key area. We talked about this before. It's 1249. Keep that in mind. If we go below that level, then it's really pretty much all over for the securities. So Adam Hewitt.